Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Hollow Knight. I want to open this episode with an apology and also a truce. Is that a spike that can actually hurt me? Look, it looks like a spike. Um, there's been some growing unrest in the Hollow Knight comments. A lot of people still having a great time. A lot of people having a great time, but with some reticence. I want to clear some things up, but first I want to say let's wipe the slate clean. Maybe I've done a, a subpar job of, uh... So we'll try to go to the left here. Maybe I've done a subpar job of representing it, but I'm actually having a really good time playing Hollow Knight, uh, and I'm excited to see where the game goes from this point onwards. I'll slow it down a little bit, try not to get us lost, try to be better about Geo, and in turn, cut me a little slack. We'll meet each other halfway on this one. You know, I know my strengths and weaknesses, when it comes to Hollow Knight. That thing actually has spirit. Does that get resurrected every time? I'm not sure. Um, I know my strengths and weaknesses when it comes to Hollow Knight. Let's uh, agree to try to have a good time over the rest of this here. Because I understand, you know, it's a game that has a lot of emotion mixed up in it. What is going on here? Do you hear this? We've already been here for certain. Um, and it's easy to think, you know, maybe I'm not experiencing the game the way it's meant to be experienced. From my perception, I'm not rushing, but I can understand um, compared to a more methodical approach to the game. Oh, that was pretty bad, though. Um, you might feel differently. So I'm going to make an effort to be a little bit more detail-oriented. Cut me some slack, and then we've both done something for the other that will lead to us being more copacetic in the future. So I've been down here about a thousand times. I remember that. What's on my quote-unquote to-do list? Apparently there's still a nail upgrade in um, Mantis Town, and there is the, um, we got the Pale Ore ages ago, which we can use to upgrade our weapon, so we can go do that, and I was also informed that I can, ah yes, many, many people have brought up, hey dummy, go buy the Lantern, yeah, okay, I feel you on that one, the Lantern is non-negotiable, probably that uh, was very smart. Probably number one actual priority, even if it takes us a little while to work up the Geo for that. So, um, I, I agree with you on that. We should, in my opinion, let's start because if, it, if this is going to be an episode where we spend a decent amount of time farming, I think we should go uh, back to the Mantis Village or at least the Blacksmith and deposit our Pale Ore and try to get a, a damage upgrade here. I think that'll be conducive to us having a, a better time here in the future. So, again, my apologies. Let's meet each other halfway here. The thing I feel worst about is the idea of people were like, oh, you know, if you don't enjoy Hollow Knight, just stop playing it. It's, it was not the case in the least. I'm having a great time playing it. You should watch me play Super Metroid, you know? Take a swing, take a swing, take a swing, take a swing. Didn't even get a chance. Too stinky for you. Okay, so we are going this way to the Forgotten Crossroads. Why are we going to the Forgotten Crossroads? Well, because it's the crossroads. You know, we should be able to easily get wherever we want to go uh, from that point. Try not to miss out on too much Geo here. That's the thing I'd like doubtlessly most guilty of is my Geo performance over the course of this. But also, Probably some areas where we could have found... Whoa, secrets. Not there, though. I, I remember this dude. I remember this dude. I also remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so special about that place. Even my Geo had an echo in so much space. So I'm gonna attack this guy. Only, though, because we want his Geo. I'm not really looking to steal his sunshine, necessarily. Because the lantern needs to be applied. And if we can get enough Geo to also be able to buy the charm notches at the same time, that would probably be good as well. Um, this is actually not that bad, right? Like, we come up to the edge here. This whole area is, like, depowered. What? Wait a minute. How the heck did we get through here? <laughs> Am I losing my mind? Wait, this thing just endlessly gives you spirit? That's pretty dope. Um, it must have been through the upper side, so we'll go back to the upper side then. Which I think is just through here anyway. 
Yeah, what was I, I predicted, like, hey, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get, like, a crystal, we're gonna insert it somewhere. No comment. You think this will actually work? It will work! Does this give us a rancid egg every time? I can't remember. I believe the rancid egg, by the way, people have told me this is what you use to not have to, um... Go get your ghost? Something... That's something vibrated there. Maybe not. Um, to not have to go get your ghost when you, uh, when you die? I may be mistaken about that. Alright. Crystal Peak. How do you get to the, um, the Mantis Village? I can't recall. Oh, that's not wise. It's either Green Path or the City of Tears. There is a stag station en route, so we might as well just go left and figure that out. And I've got to uh, zoom out the map, actually. Where is the... Fungal Waste Mantis Village Whispering Route, so that's something we should pick up along the way as well. Um, where the heck was the... Blacksmith? In the Mantis Village. You must just be in one of those houses there. Unless, wait, what is this... Um, Vendor? <laughs> in the City of Tears? Ah, yes! The Vendor! Are you familiar? Um, it's the orange pins. So that guy... Might be... He's some sort of vendor. Vendor. I don't remember which vendor's who, so, I mean, we're just gonna have to figure that out as we go here. So I'm divorcing myself from the idea that everything needs to be progress-oriented. I'm trying to take a more holistic approach. It's hard for me. Um, I very much used to be a type B person in my life. Honestly, doing YouTube where you have to be self-motivated has made me a more type A person. Might stretch it well into some video games, you know. Not always, because I'm still pretty bad at most of them. But in a game with a little bit more meandering, Makes it more difficult for me to show it off, I suppose. So are we gonna go to the stag station? What is that, the star baby pin? Cocoon. I don't necessarily know what that means. So we're just gonna dip straight down and then to the left. Go to this stag station and, uh, well, we should rest up first. All right. And we didn't find uh, the Mantis Village stag station if there is one, but the Queen Station is extremely close, I think. And as for the next area that we have to go in the game, I am actually unsure, to be honest with you. I think it might be related to... Uh, I mean, it could be in... Uh, as much as I hate to admit it, it could be in... Uh, the uh, Dark Nest. But that's what we need the Lantern for, nonetheless, so... Yeah, this is the Mantis Village. What's that other thing on the map here? Get the legend up here. Warrior's Grave. So these are like optional bosses that you can fight for more essence. I think I probably will do that right now. Um, for whatever reason, boss fights have been relatively easy. I don't... Well, okay, we, maybe we don't even have to go that way. Um, I don't mean that to be needlessly braggadocious. What am I doing? This was this was the simple, or not simple, this was the optional area. We don't need to go up this way. Um, I don't mean that to be braggadocious, because Lord knows I've died enough times to the simplest enemies the game has to offer. Please. I'm begging. You land here. Oh, I, I know there's a more efficient way, but surely there you go. Okay. Look at that. The triumph of man over a simple task. Problem solved. Oh, dude, I've forgotten about this music. There's also that area of, uh, of the Mantis Village we never went to. In fact, there might be more areas in here. I pretty much never went to the Fungal Waste after, like, the first, uh, time that we came through here. So where do we want to go? We want to go, I suppose, down into the right. There might be an upper path there, it looks like, but I'm not certain. Got, like, an Enya track going on in the background here. A little existential... Enya as well. 
It's a joke about Enway. So we're gonna go up to the right. I suppose we could have just wall jumped, but you know, this we're talking about a pre-wall jump era here when we go back to Spiky Mushroom Town. It's my pleasure to be here. And you know what? We know what we're looking for with respect to secrets a little bit more as well. So we've already opened up the shortcut there. This is where we want to go. And we should kill every enemy on the way. Look for stuff. Maybe we didn't pay close enough attention to last time. There were probably some times, you know, we were in a little bit of a tight spot coming through here potentially. So I actually landed on one there. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Worth it. This seems like an area I would have remembered, but just give me the Geo. Yes! Get smoked. Okay. All I want is the Geo. I've got a feeling I'm not the only one. All I want to do is get that Geo until the sun comes up over Santa Monica. Okay. Santa Monica Boulevard is how that song ends. I don't think we've been down here either. And apparently we've missed a, an ungodly amount of secrets. Now that, I believe. Ooh, do you think? Do you think there's something going on up there? Maybe, maybe not. I and mean, we just fell through it straight down, but okay, okay. 141 Geo. How much is the lantern? It can't be more than like 800, so we're actually not that far away. I'm, I blame the bounce for that one. We also, I mean, many people have suggested this independently. I also thought, hey, that seems like a good trinket for me. Um, we probably want to pick up Gathering Swarm, which just grabs the Geo from the surrounding area. Seems like it would save me a lot of hassle if I'm actually going to start caring about Geo and stop having a self-righteous, very, you know, you know, the real Dark Souls starts here attitude about it. So we'll heal up again. That's why we got the E-Tank. Good stuff. It's the first time I've ever seen it dynamically refill, so I just, I wasn't paying attention before, I suppose. So we've tried to get up here. We cannot get up here. There's nothing doing going through there. Okay, so we're really, like, waiting on what I assume is not going to be a double jump, but maybe a double jump. Instead, my guess is that it's going to be like a, uh... Oh, there's an essence tree right here. Yeah, my guess is that it's going to be like, um, you know, a, a vertical leap, like a super jump, but I could be wrong. Just throwing it out there as a possibility. So how much did uh, we need as far as essence goes? I think we needed 200, so we won't get 200 here, probably. I don't know how much you get from each whispering tree. So far, so good, but every little bit counts. Oh! That's the first time I've ever gotten all of it, maybe? It made like a, a very pleasing chime. Oh! And then the whispering tree grows even stronger. Proud Warriors, honor bound. Hell yeah, dude. Proud Warriors, honor bound. I don't know what we've done, but I'm happy about it. All right, sweet, good job. That means we haven't found all the essence from our earlier whispering tree. All right, we in the Mantis Village. Waterways are to the right. Let's take a peek here. So there's definitely like new stuff in Deep Nest. There's also a new path to the bottom of the Queen Station, actually. But let's go uh, find the blacksmith here, who I have neglected for this long. Sorry, I don't want you to die, but you are going to get hurt by my my fart. So, I mean, I apologize greatly for this. You're gonna have to bear with me for a moment here, because I have no recollection whatsoever of uh, where the blacksmith is or isn't in this area. I do remember doing that. Strikes me as... I mean, these are the Mantis Lords down here at the bottom. I remember that. Oh, because it's a boss fight. It might be better... Like, if I had to guess... I'd be guessing it's up in the actual Mantis Village 
town, you know, the, the city proper. So let's go back up and check that. Sorry. Didn't mean to. I did not mean to be so rude. It was not me. It was, it was my food. It just popped up to say hello and now it's gone back down below. So this was like to the fungal waste, right? This is still angry Mantis Village territory? Okay. This is the point where I sympathize with those of you who are going to be a little aggravated. Going to be like, hey, obviously he's in one of those huts. Look, I don't know where these huts are, man. I'm figuring out dynamically on the fly here. Presumably it's got to be a vendor. So if we have no vendor pin, we either never found him here. Or... He's not actually in the Mantis Village, he's in like a slightly different area or something. Ooh, is that the vendor? Near the City of Tears? I can't remember. They definitely say he's in the Mantis Village. The City of Tears is annoying to get to. <laughs> oh, you know what? The Ancient Basin might have some new stuff for us as well. Certainly a little bit more of a meandering episode. You know what? That's okay. We, d we might want to do that Warrior's Grave straight up. So, we're down here. Warrior's Grave is up near the top of the Fungal Waste. Near another vendor. This may actually be something I just Google in between episodes. It'd be like, where is... This merchant? I went to the Hollow Knight subreddit, by the way, and I saw a lot of people had pretty much the exact same, uh, it's not even a criticism, but the exact same problem that I have. They were like, I, uh, love Hollow Knight, having a great time with it, uh, cannot for the life of me remember where things are. I feel you. I, I feel you more than you could possibly imagine, as much as it pains me to do so. So, I'm gonna actually say forget that warrior's grave for now. And we're, what's up with this guy? Hey, dude. Have I ever... Have I ever seen you before? There's gotta be a way up there. What that, what that means is probably a way through the top of that room. I can't see it right now. Poor guy looks scared or also like a mini-boss. One of these things is not like the other. Is that the Dung Defender? I think it is. I remember this room. Well, you know what? Lore implications. Why do the Mushroom people like the Dung Defender? Who knows, man? Is that even the Dung Defender? I think that's the Dung Defender. We didn't know that the last time we came through here, but we know that with certainty now. Oh, there's another essence, uh, tree of essence through here as well. Yo. It went goong! That strikes me as a... Ooh, we can't go straight up there. We can go straight up there, but I think we've already... Oh! Sorry, I missed you. Why not pop up to... Okay, so I've definitely already been here and gotten the map. Because we have the map right now, presently. Extremely like dense game. And it sounds like I mean that as an insult, but I, I like really sincerely do not. There's a lot of content here. I'm not just letting the uh, geo fall willy nilly. By the way, my intention is to. Uh... My intention is to grab as much of it as is plausible. Dude, he is so mad. Maybe we should've just, oh, I forgot about that phase. We should've just gone to the stag station and gone back, but it's fine, you know, take some time. Stop and smell the flipping roses. <sighs> Said it in like a Ringo Starr voice. Stop and smell the flipping roses. Not a very good Ringo Starr impression. Almost more like a Michael Scott impression of Ringo Starr. You know what, that's okay. All right, so we do not want to go this way, I think. I 
Yeah, there's a lower path, actually, that we can take. So stick to the top for now. If this ends up being just, you know, get some Geo, get some Essence, that's fine by me. And if you're saying, well, you know, that you had 3,000 Essence at some point, you could have gone back for. Yeah, okay. And, you know, don't let that distract you from something, something, Mankind, something, something, Undertaker, WrestleMania, you know? You, if you want to live in the past, that's fine. But as Big Boy from Outcast says... I plan for today, or I live for today, plan for the future, pack a lunch and haul ass. I've really decided that that's my mantra in life. One of the more positive examples, I think, of, you know, hip-hop lyrics. Wholesome hip-hop, if you will. Whole Hop, not a great name for it, but the name that I'm going to choose to use, perhaps. I don't know if we've ever been up here. Yeah, I was going to say... So there's another rancid egg. Perhaps one day we'll figure out what we're doing with those. I'm, I'm, I thought I read that they were like what you use to not have to get your ghost back if it's in like a terrible situation. Okay, oh, I remember this bench and I remember it well. So we want to go probably to the right here, is my guess. And again, like preemptive apologies for what's a little bit of a meandering episode right now. At the very least, we have gotten some essence. Not a whole lot of progress, but you know what? Maybe that's exactly what we needed. We needed like an episode that was like Noah Bombatch's 2000... 10 film Greenberg. It needed to be a little meandering. It needed to be finding its way in the world today. Just perhaps. Just perhaps. This is where you fight the Dung Defender. We could either go up to where Dung Defender is. Or we can go a different way. We're going to go up to where gun, uh, Dung Defender is. Was. No offense. Meant to all my Dung Defender fans out there. I don't think this, I think it's pretty unlikely that this dude is going to give us, um, what we want when we get 200 essence. And what do we want? Well, what we want is, uh, you know, if possible, a double jump. <laughs> Maybe. I hope I'm not just, like, farming up stuff for, like, the, the crows from Dark Souls. That would be the biggest bummer of all. Dude, what are, you, what are you talking about? We're down here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, let's go. We're still... I think there's only like 25 each, so... We're probably not going to get... Right, that's not a wall. We're probably not going to get to... 200 here is my guess. Might as well grab it. We're 144. We might get to 150. And then if we fight that warrior's grave in a future episode, assuming that's what that is, and to be honest with you, I'm not certain that that's the case at all. Um, but if that is the case... Oh, we gotta get that, too. We'll get that on the way down. If that is the case, we might be able to hit 200 there. I think we got 100 for beating the last warrior, so... Oh, come on. Still not quite done. Something like that. I don't know, this one might even be a little... Larger? Oh, that was pretty bad. So it might be a little larger than the last one? I'm not sure, though. Either way, though, essence is essence. So this one you gotta do. Well, you don't have to, but we can do something like that. Yeah, rubber, whatever. <gasps> Underrated voice acting, man. Keeps you on your toes at all times. Come get a taste, that's right, I did it. It's got, wait, 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 oh, it's 219 Geo. I got really excited for a second. Come on, come on. Please, dusted, that's two heals. That's one heal. 
closer. I think we got two on the way down. Oh, that Geo. <laughs> that 11 Geo. I thought it was more than that, okay? Don't really worry about that Geo. We got that one already? There we go. Dirty plays. We're further away from the essence. What have we become? We can hear it. My battlegrounds training. Oh, there it is. Free Geo as well. Dirty place. Okay, so we'll go speak to the tree again. I don't think it does anything for us. Also don't even know if we can get out of here without dying. We can. Actually, that was surprisingly easy, all things considered. Oh, that one. Look. I understand my own strengths and weaknesses as a Hollow Knight player. That one was bullshit, though, whether you want to admit it or not. Hello, tree. Henlo tree. Kingdom above, palace below, servant's path. All right, I don't know what that means, but I thank you thus far for your service. Doing some real ass essence hunting here. Okay, so we're going to the ancient basin. Is there a reason? Yes. From the left of that bench, and maybe the even before the bench, there's stuff for us to do down there. Right, okay. Step one, though, is just not dying. So I don't actually think that um, Fart Trinket is that good. But I can't deny that it's helped us out an awful lot. Oh, that one. That one hurts. Come on. Oh, that was close. There we go. That is right. We got like four Geo out of that. All right, dude. Come on. Fight me on, fight me on this one. That's what I'm talking about right there. Slower, more patient play. And then we get to fight these guys. The cannon fodder. Eh, not so much those guys. I do need to go down there, though, so I'll tell you what. Hey, dude. Don't bring me down. Take a... This is the worst place I could be. Sad song and make it better. There we go. 16 Geo. Heal up. Gotta be some sort of... We might have already found the secret over there. Is it gross here? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, hell yeah. It, it, this is like the grossest area. Short of uh, Deep Nest here. You know what? I'm gonna say it's even grosser than Deep Nest. Because it's looking like by the time we get to Deep Nest... We might have a dang old... Uh, A dang ol', here you go, a dang ol' lantern, that's right. Search the brain for the right word, found it, and we Gucci. So, there was an area over here. Was it that I couldn't go to it? Or I didn't want to go to it? We never found Mapman? This is not Mapman. A true servant gives all for the kingdom. Let Haloness, Pale King, relieve you of your burden. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. I've already done that before. We did, like, 400 Geo, dude. We never found you? It's a long trek back to the shop from here. I'll be resting my legs a little longer. Oh, we did find him. He was just the last one we found, I think. So this was... The oh, right. And then you can't actually go up here. All right. So I feel, like, deep in this area... There must be the secret to advancement. And I'm not being exclusively focused on that right now. I'm just saying. Strikes me as being on the to-do list, right? We need some sort of seal to get past this. I remember that. You cannot simply crash into it at a high speed and expect the best. Around. Nothing's ever going to keep you down. Well, if nothing else... And there's very little else. But if nothing else, we've certainly, you know, circumnavigated the freaking globe on this one. 
But I, I have a feeling, perhaps, that this bench may provide us with newfound knowledge. I don't think we've been to this bench since the time that we got the Super Dash. Oh, we touched the ground, I think. Yeah. I hear new wind. He's done it? Thank you, Indie Mouse. I won't forget your sacrifice. Fuck you, Indie Mouse. Get bent. Is the duality of Indie Mouse. Hey, guys. That's like a big Geo node. Did we we slept at that bench back there, right? I f <laughs> I hate to do this. You're gonna be like, just go back because you slept at the bench. Come on, you slept at the bench. No, you don't understand. We gotta go back and check to see if we slept at the bench. Also, we cannot. Oh, because we came down from there. All right, so we're we're trapped in here now. So I've done that to myself. That means there is no doubt in my human mind. We must get... You see that? The wall is... Oh, Jesus Christ. We must get... Stronger. We must get... Like, uh... Double, uh... Jump here. He's done it. He's a god. You got something. Oh, okay. I, I thought he was going to give us an item of some of some repute, if you will. Um, stand up here at the top. And look at that. Sometimes slow is fast, buddy. Sometimes slow is fast. Please don't make me fight one of these guys in a small space where I can't see anything. Yeah, like, I basically hate that. I also definitely hate this. That's fine. That's fine. We got to at least these dudes give you a ton of spirit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't know why I healed. Kind of an extreme waste. Okay, yep. Suppose we would like to tackle him. Right, you know what? Play it slow. Play it slow. You're doing you're doing swell, dude. You got the fart juice up there. He is not going to cause you many more problems. So we had an indie mouse on this wall, I thought. Oh, it's a it's a tall wall. With two Indie Mouses. My worst nightmare. I'll tell you straight up, getting a little, little tired of these jabronis. But you know what? We early, dude. Hello? Henlo? It's just a ghost. In the shell or otherwise. Everything in these areas looks exactly the same. So I'm like, am I covering old ground? Apparently not. I like this. It's get, there's more infrastructure here? Exactly. So you have to attack this. Or not. Oh, I've closed the door. What have I done? Don't let them get into the brain! All right, well, here we go. Broken vessel. Okay. Fair. Okay, I understand. I understand. Yeah, I saw that one coming, but I was stupid about it. Fair, fair. He's done it. He's got the basic level one pattern down.
That's right, he did it. What are you doing? Oh, you're you're in critical mode. Yeah, okay, I mean, I saw it coming. I hate it, but I saw it. I also relatively hate that. Oh my god, okay. But you know what? I think we've, we've actually sussed out the pattern there. We just shit the bed at the end. Please tell me I slept at the... Oh, thank god. We're at a pretty good um, sleeping point here. And we actually have the map for this area as well. So I'm going to call it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We made actually good progress after a little bit of meandering that also amped up our essence. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.